hello dear friends welcome back to the Comtronical again in this video i am going to show you how to understand the settings of transformer differential relay that is abb make re t615 relay as in my previous video i have uh, already shown you how to view the settings so now let us understand what are the parameters and nomenclature of the setting so first of all the operation is on and high operate value is 13 20 percent of ir that is that is 13 20 percent of the rated current if the differential current exceeds or comes in the range of third uh, comes to 13 20 percent the transformer will trip immediately that is the high set value and uh, it shows the transformer is at very high risk and very it has a severe internal fault or severe winding fault and so the high set enable is true and the low operate value is 30 percent so if the differential current exceeds 30 percent then the transformer will trip but the fault may be of maybe some of low intensity next coming to the slope end section so the slope characteristics is essentially a line on the relay's operating Carousel graph it defines how the relay depends to different uh, how the relay responds to different level of differential current so to conclude the slope section uh, with 30 percent setting ensures that the relay has a balanced sensitivity tripping for internal fault while maintaining stability during external fault or ct saturation condition next coming to the harmonic value so that we will not go deep in the harmonic value so the transformer winding type is D uh, in the primary side and in the secondary side, it, side it's Y and so for vector group as per the relay <coughs> manual we have set vector group 11 uh, so clock 11 so it indicates that the transformer LV is leading 30 degree with respect to HV and the zero sequence is not eliminated so zero sequence component <coughs> The zero sequence component uh, is not eliminated it uh, signifies that uh, the uh, zero sequence current is not emitted by the transformers configuration or by the relay setting this means that the relay must consider zero sequence current when making tripping decision the relay will include the zero sequence current in its differential current calculation which can affect the relay sensitivity to ground fault or unbalanced condition. So the relay does not eliminate zero sequence current, meaning it include the current in its differential calculation, which is significant for detecting ground faults or, or unbalanced condition. And the next we come in five and one point one four. So how it's going to calculate it? It is calculated as so the primary is connected hundred. 100 amps so if the primary is 100 and this uh, the full load current of this 20 mva so this is uh, the relay is connected to the 20 mva transformer so if the primary is 100 amps and the full load current is 105 amps so 100 upon 105 amps is 0.95 amps so so the 0.95 is uh, set it, set value and in the se uh, secondary side full load current is 350 amps with the for uh, 20 MA transformer and the CT connected is 400 and 400 by 350 it will comes to 1.1 so likewise settings we have to understand what are the nomenclature it will be easy to for us to in our daily daily routine work so those who are working substitution it will be useful for them so for more details and for more videos please do subscribe and like this channel thank you